all the great stuff from convention. I just wanted to touch base um, on a call that I had posted last week for you guys to watch, and it was the flash contest. Um, for those of you that did not have an opportunity to um, watch that call, I highly recommend going back and watching it because it talks about something that we've already started to implement on the team page called hijacking. And it's working really, really, really well. And um, so for those of you that maybe don't exactly know what we're talking about when we say hijack my page, um, so any one that is a brand new ambassador and they've made their first post, their testimonial or their why, um, there's a thread on the team page. I don't know what I named it, like hijacking something. Um, tag them, make sure that their post and page is public so that we can all see it. And then um, when you do that, we'll go onto their page and we will leave all kinds of comments, get activity, um, exposure, and that's going to post or bump that um, post to the newsfeed, top of the newsfeed each time everyone posts. So that's going to give them a lot of um, a really good idea of how us as a family and a team, how we help each other out, and it's going to help to get them hopefully more results from their audience as well. So that's hijacking, and I want you guys to all take advantage of it. Um, if you haven't posted your why or your testimonial, we'd love to hijack your page too. Um, we can't do it for everyone like five times a day, so keep that in mind. But for all of your new ambassadors, for their first post, make sure that you go on and you have um, the team hijack that post for them so that it gets lots and lots of exposure. Um, that also goes hand in hand with using the hashtag Team Rising Diamonds. You guys know I'm really passionate about that. Um, <laughs> we have like tens of thousands of views on hashtag Team Rising Diamonds. So make sure that you guys go on there every day. You type in the hashtag, like, comment, or post on you know 10 to 20 of those. It takes like one minute, and it really does help out yourself. It helps out your team members um, and your overall exposure your hopefully new ambassadors and new customers as well. Because if those posts are getting new views, then guess what? That just increases your business. So on to the fun stuff. Um, so convention, I can't even tell you guys, they announced so much stuff that I was not expecting. Amber, after I get done um, sharing with you a few of the items, Amber's going to uh, go over the new products for you. I thought this was better suited for her being that she's a gym owner. Um, she has uh, more experience with products like Edge, so she can tell you a little bit more in detail probably than I can, um, just based on her experience. So one of the more exciting things that I um, think is going to help not only with compliance, but also making our lives easier when it comes to utilizing social media is um, the shareables. So Plexus, I don't know, those of you that are older had something similar to this in our back office previously, but it, it just didn't work wonderfully, I guess. But um, I'm gonna share my screen with you guys, and I wanna show you how shareables work. And literally with a touch of a button, you guys can send, post, print, save to your computer, these amazing graphics, um, let's see, that have all the information, where is, that you guys could possibly ever, ever, ever want um, on any of our products. So you'll go to your dashboard, and under tools, you guys are going to go to shareables. And if you look here, they've got, as of now, shareables for block and edge. You can send someone a video, you can post a video, um, a digital brochure, an image, or a download. So I'm gonna give you guys just a quick example and um, sh click on images. So these are shareable media images. <clears throat> Find one that you like. I like this one right here that says release your inner child. I think it attracts a lot of attention. Or the one with the pretzel here. Um, all you have to do to post that to Facebook to Twitter, to Pinterest, or to email, is just simply click on that button. 
easy peasy. Um, so make sure you guys are utilizing that for um, your social media accounts. Digital brochures, I think they're really cool. Um, they're kind of like in action, I guess. You can see that if you click on that brochure, you can post it like this or send it to someone. You can actually open it up and read through it just like you have the brochure at your fingertips. So make sure you guys are using that. And then um, images, oops, not images, I'm sorry, um, downloads. I personally am gonna save all these PDF files to my computer, then I'm gonna upload them to my um, Google Drive and I will have them accessible on my telephone. So if anyone has a question on the new block or they're interested in Edge, all I will have to do is go to my... So if you guys have any questions on that, send me a message. If you haven't used Google Drive or um, Dropbox, but they're really, really, really easy. Um, and they're great ways to not have to go back to your laptop or your computer if you want to get information to someone. Um, so that's shareables. And let me get back to my Zoom. Did it stop sharing my Amber? Um, oh, there it is. Okay. Sorry, I'm not very computer savvy, guys. <clears throat> um, personal development. So you guys hear us talk about personal development a lot. Um, you know, John Maxwell, you know, I'm reading this book about how do you talk to yourself? Well, now Plexus within the next month or so is going to have a complete personal development library that is available to us for free. Um, you can listen to it or you can read it. And that's also going to be in your back office. And there's going to be certain books that they recommend to us on a monthly basis. If you want to follow along with them to stay on track, or you'll have access to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of the most popular authors out there. Um, so I think that's awesome. You know, a penny saved is a penny earned and it's gonna be literally right at our fingertips. These books are expensive if you try to get the audio version. So, you know, when you're running, walking, in the car, doing dishes, you guys will have all of these books available at your fingertips to help you grow. Um, Another really, really, really exciting um, piece of information that they shared with us is that we're now going to have two-day shipping on all of our products. So no more waiting four or five plus days to get the products. You know, if you're like me, sometimes I run out before I remember to order. Um, so two-day shipping on all of our products. Absolutely amazing. Um, as far as the experience at convention, this is my third convention with Plexus. I had two girls with me um, at my very first convention, and I was a senior Ruby, I believe. And last year, I think we had about 15 people. This year, I think our team had like 60 or 70 people. It was crazy. Um, they rolled out the red carpet for us. <clears throat> Michael, was it Michael Bolton? Yeah. <laughs> that's how much you impressed me. I can't remember his name. No, Michael Bolton and then Little Big Town, um, you know, front and center, private concert. It was like we were at the Country Music Awards. But then all the motivation and the information that they shared with us. If you guys weren't able to make it this year, please, please, please mark it on your calendars. You're going next year. Those of you that were there, they can attest to how much information was shared and the excitement level. Um, and you know, the one plexus mentality, it was just amazing. I was absolutely exhausted. I can attest for everyone that was there. We were all exhausted, but we learned so much and we had so much fun. Um, just getting to see firsthand what this company is doing for us guys. I mean, I've done other network marketing opportunities before <clears throat> five of them. And I can tell you that plexus is at the very, very, very top threshold of, you know, keeping up with technology and, you know, keeping the products new and I don't know. I, I don't have enough to say about this opportunity. It was just awesome. So um, we're going to keep this short tonight. So I'm going to let Amber go on and talk to you guys a little bit about Edge and the new block and how they can 
how edge is different than boost and accelerator because that's a really 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 big question that everyone has um, before I forget tomorrow I am taping the tips from the top diamond panel so I'll have that on the team page in the next couple of days and we have some really good questions from Suzanne whisper Clinton um, just there's six of us and a lot of them are much farther advanced in their business than me so I'm very excited for you guys to listen to that so Amber it's all yours girl hi everybody um, before I get started I was want to in case this ends up recorded somewhere well I'm recording it in case it ends up somewhere else um, Amber hang on one second can I interrupt you for a second I'm sorry this was your first convention. Would you guys, would you mind just telling everyone what your um, perception or just what you thought of Plexus from the day you arrived and the day after, just how much it impacted you? I would, I think everyone would like to hear that. Oh yeah, it was um, fantastic. It was such an awesome experience. Um, I don't know, for those of you who might be on some of the, um, uh, the group pages that are listening to what people are saying about Las Vegas and um, just their experience in general, or if you're on like any of the big Plexus support groups, there's some stuff out there that I, I think is negative and, and for no other reason than, I know I, this sounds terrible, but sometimes it's jealousy and I'm not maybe that jealousy that that's just how you are, you know, like that's just how these people are that are saying these things. But, but honestly, I have not one bad thing to say about it. And, um, I thought the people were fantastic. I thought that um, that Plexus did a great job represent the people who showed up did a great job representing Plexus. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about my experience. We didn't stay at the MGM, which maybe that was a good thing for us because I felt like I had a break and I could like breathe in and like take in what I was learning instead of constantly being like surrounded by 12,000 people that are obsessed with Plexus and you know, just um, I, I did like that little bit of a break, but we just literally jumped on the monorail and stayed. It took us 11 minutes from the monorail to our hotel. Um, and I mean, from like room to not even to monorail to like seated. So, um, that was the only thing I thought maybe helped me not have that crazy overwhelming experience. But in general, I took so many pages of notes. I can't even, I haven't even begun to process them yet. I can't wait to open that book and just sit down and think about it. But we got home last or we got home yesterday so i stayed really long so i haven't even really had time to like sit down and think about what what we um learned but i'm super excited to share it with everybody and that's including all of you not just my own personal team but um i thought they did a great job i mean besides the fact that they they did something with you know giving us a concert by you know little big town and um I, I didn't go to the michael bolton thing but i did get to go to winner's dinner and besides those big like exciting things that i got to do just that being there in the conference and um during the convention was just i don't even know like I, I i like i said i took so many notes my my hand was hurting and i was like i'm never gonna run out of paper because i took a whole brand new notebook but you know it was just um exciting and, and every time i went to the gold senior gold training um and I know a lot of us went to different ones. There's a group of us that went to this one together. And I, I took everything they said was just like, I'd never, I, first time I was hearing it, which it wasn't, but it was just like awesome experience and information they were giving. And some of it, the fact that they're going to share that with all of us, um, I'm not sure when that's going to come out. Selena might know better, but I think like they, they kept saying a month, you know, like in a month or so. So I think they gave themselves a month to, to give themselves fair time to get it posted but they are going to make those available to everybody so um if if i'm wrong let me know but i think that training is going to be available to everybody um and it needs to be because i'd like to watch it again because i think you know i'd like to hear it again i think hearing it two or three times is finally going to be your you'll get it all because there's so much information um it was great i, I don't want to miss another one i'm excited about leaders um retreat and um i'm looking forward to next year wherever that is already so I hope that's what you needed. Is that good, Selena? You still there? Oh. Yeah, you're breaking, up. you're breaking up just a little bit, but yeah. we have a storm going on right now. I hoped it wasn't that bad, but there is um, quite a bit of rain going on outside. It's a little better now. I think you're good. Okay, sorry if you didn't catch all of that. Um, now, I guess we're gonna. I'm gonna get to talk about products. So I'm just gonna say. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration, and this product's not intended to diagnose, treat, 
cure or prevent any disease. Just in case I get into that. Um, so I'm going to start with the new block. Yay! I took some notes and what Talina was just talking about, the new shareables, these things are fantastic. This is the PDF. Um, every one of our products will eventually have this, but right now you can just get it on block and edge and oh my gosh, uh, where, where have these been my whole life? Like this is what we need on everything. Um, oh, these are going to change the way we do business people. I'm just so excited about it. But anyway, um, the new block, I just wanted to compare the old block to the new block. I have both. Um, they look the same. The old block, I'm just going to keep around um, for those days I actually remember to take it 30 minutes before eating, but it rarely happens for me, so this has been fantastic. Um, I started, they passed out quick block, quick acting block um, before the big dessert reception, which was kind of fun. So if you've got a couple of extras or whatever, so I ended up taking them before we had a big dinner at the Tilted Kilt with my team. Um, Thursday night and I I didn't know block worked this well like I always liked block but until it was fact fast acting because like I said I have a hard time remembering to take it this was fantastic like life-changing I was like I'm never gonna go without it really made a difference I was full much faster than I usually am um, I literally I ordered a dish and I think like five people ate off of it because I only ate like a small portion of it and I was hungry I just only ate a small portion of it um, just really and I didn't feel bloated or yucky or anything afterwards. It was, it was really good. So the differences are what they did to make this fat, fast acting real quick is they put in a vegetable um, capsule. So it just, you know, melts right away instead of having to wait um, for this to work. Because of the way that they changed it um, so that it's fast acting, they also were able to decrease the amount of brown seaweed and white kidney bean extract. I don't know how much of each of those the combination together, they had it on the old bottle. They used to say the combination was 1,100 milligrams, and now they have it broken up to 500 and 200 milligrams. So at some some point, you know, we lost, what, 400 milligrams, but I don't know which which thing they used less of. But they did say that they, they did decrease both. They also added chromium. We're all getting chromium right now. If you're taking, um, if you're drinking the pink drink, you're getting chromium, same stuff. If you're taking Boost, for any reason, you're getting chromium. I don't know that you could overdo chromium. I know it does say if you know there could be too much of it, but you would have to take like a whole bottle of Boost and this together, I think, to even get close to it. I mean, at the same time. So, um, okay, sorry. I guess I'm going in and out. I don't I can't really change anything up here. So, if we need to redo this, we will. Um, Let's see. Like I said, in my experience, it works fantastic. I could tell a huge difference um, than the uh, than the than the old block, but that was just because I know I didn't take it like I was supposed to. I have um, a little bit of ADHD, and I hardly remember like what's going on during the day, let alone like to take some block. So um, it still does the same thing. Blocks up to forty eight percent of sugars and starches, and I or sugars and carbohydrates. Sorry, I do like the way that they changed the bottle. In my opinion, I like this better it says directions take two capsules immediately before a sugar or carbohydrate containing meal where on the old bottle it says suggested uses take 30 minutes before your largest meal of the day or two capsules before your two largest meals of the day it does make a huge difference because my largest meal of the day is often dinner but my dinner rarely contains carbohydrates or sugar so it's a little misleading when you say before your largest meal. If you're if you're eating a healthy meal that doesn't have carbohydrates and sugar or it's very limited, then there's no reason for you to be taking the, the block. You should be taking it during those those meals that that do contain a higher number of them. And I don't mean like only for cheat meals, but if you know you're going to have chips and salsa, or you know you're going to have bread, or you know you know um, you know your your body, you know what you're taking. Um, I know some people use it before they drink. Um, I'm sure there was a lot of this going on in Vegas, but um, Again, this block sheet that, sorry, you guys are losing me again. I'm getting the message that I'm unstable. Um, if you guys are getting, if you guys have access to this already, which you all do in your back office, print it, check it out, read it. It's fantastic. Um, I'll be done with that one. Okay, Edge. So, um, 
I wasn't sure how I felt about this when they first announced it. Um, because I feel like with us, we've been saying the pink drink is all you need for energy. But after researching it and, and seeing what it had in it and why it was different than what we already had, I do like it. Um, today is my first day to take it. Uh, I took it once in Las Vegas, but I'll just tell you, I stayed out way too long the night before and celebrated with my friends. So I'm not sure it was the best day to take it, but today has been fantastic. I actually chased down the mail lady today because we wanted to take it before two o'clock and um i feel great yeah we had a really uh, really great day today and um i don't feel like i'm stopping at any time so it's a little bit it's, it's really nice it's something different the thing that's different about edge is it has amino acids in it this is the first time that we've had a product with amino acids in it which is interesting because all the way back when i started now it's been 10 months ago I actually had someone asking me for a product with amino acids in it. And I remember talking to Kyle and we couldn't find anything, you know, we didn't have anything like that. So it, it is something that we're adding to our line that we didn't have before. Um, amino acids, a lot of people who are in, you know, fitness or um, sports and things like that, you'll hear a lot of people talk about amino acids. So it's kind of nice that we're, we're going into a, uh, um, I guess, a section that we haven't been in before. Um, in that, that being said, I know there are some people that have tried this and said they felt really strange on it. Um, for me, I've been taking amino acids from other supplements um, in addition to my Plexus product. So I didn't have that feeling. It's not the same amino acids I take, but a lot of them are the same. You could literally write like a novel on every different amino acid, but they basically kind of process the same way in your body. Um, for us, the... Um, I do not know how to pronounce these correctly, but the um, the first one, we're going to go with that. Thysarine, <laughs> uh, I guess, T-H-E-A-C-R-I-N-E. -E. Anyways, that one helps with mental performance and physical performance. So that's where we go saying like a lot of people use amino acids for um, uh, pre-workout or post-workout even, both things. They're, it's a type of protein, so a lot of people use them afterwards as well. Um, it affects your, it's actually derived from um, green tea, but it affects your body, it affects your body like caffeine. However, it doesn't affect your blood pressure in the same way. Like it doesn't do exactly what your, what your body does with caffeine, but it, sorry, it affects your brain the way that caffeine does is what I meant to say. Um, there's some bonus things out there that they don't really, they have a lot of information on the bottle, like saying, you know, healthy, sustained energy, sharper thinking, enhances concentration and focus, improves mood. And I know that it's safer for us to say what exactly is on the bottle than it is to make claims outside of that. So I'll give you this information, but these are not, these are not on our bottle. These are just things that I researched and found out um, that there's the, the claim to this particular um, amino acid is that it, it may help with aging and also a common cold. So it's just another tool in our bucket with Plexus to keep us well and healthy and, you know, from the inside out, basically the same thing we've always been saying. It's just like an addition to, so we're not getting the same products over and over and over. You know, we have 16 products in our line now. If we, if every product they gave us did the exact same thing for us, we, we wouldn't need that. So it's really nice that you can kind of bulk up on, you know, different things, take four or five different things and then keep yourself healthy all year long. I know that my children are completely different kids when they're on their probiotic and, you know, knowing that the vitamin that I take, I would never give up the X factor ever. But if one more thing is going to help me to be healthy and in, in top of that, I'm going to get energy from this as well. And then I may be a bonus as I get a common cold, you know, keeps you from getting a common cold. I'll take it. So I just like that they kind of always go after something that works in more ways than one. Um, the other one is, um, I think it's just thionine, T-H-E-A-N-I-N-E. -E. Um, I am by no means a supplement. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't know everything about supplements. I don't know how to spell them or say them or whatever. But um, this one is the one that helps with uh, enhanced concentration, or sorry, uh, improves mood. So this one has... Um, but, um, supplement. It's a supplement to help you improve the mood. It um, also comes from green tea. It's an antioxidant. Um, it also could help prevent illness. So same thing. They all kind of circle back around, like what could possibly help you. And then the last thing is the coffee robusta, which everyone 
instead of being a source of caffeine like the accelerator and the boost have in it is um, green tea. This is a different source of um, caffeine, which is from the, which is basically green coffee bean, um, chlorogenic acid, basically. So, um, or it is, not basically, it is. So it's different. That's why you can take one of these products and this at the same time. They are not asking you to only take one and not the other. If you like the way that these products work for you, you can still take one. Again, you cannot take Boost and Accelerate together. That is not recommended. You can take one of these products with the Edge. I have not done that because I'd like to know what the Edge does for me without these products. Um, but Accelerator is, actually both of these products are thermogenic. They're going to tell you that it gets really confusing. Boost is a thermogenic because it has a lot more chromium in it. But Accelerator is also a thermogenic. So they both help burn fat, not muscle. Um, Accelerator, again, has the 5-HTP in it, so it's a mood enhancer. So just be careful that you're not overdoing it because this one has a mood enhancer too. And you know that anybody that you have that is um, on your, any customers or um, um, ambassadors that you have, if they're taking a, an, a prescription product for mood, I would caution against both of these and just let them, you know, if they're going to try to get off their product, then they can switch it to the, if they're going to try to get off their prescription, then they could switch to one of these possibly to help them. But I would just be careful you don't overdose them or they don't overdose themselves. <laughs> and then Boost is the same way. Um, it has chromium in it as well. It's going to work similar to the Edge, but this has an appetite suppressant in it. Um, I use it as a pre-workout. You could use this as a pre-workout or a post-workout, but in the beginning, just take one at a time. Let your body get used to something. There's no sense in you having a bad reaction to too much. You may never. I don't. I could literally take tons of this stuff and I don't have that kind of reaction, but I have friends that do. And the last thing I want is someone going around telling them that, oh, I took that Plexus Edge stuff and it made me all crazy. Never mind the fact that I took Boost with it that morning and I took, you know, this and that and this and that. So just caution against with your customers. The other thing I would recommend is it does not say, oh, it says at breakfast or lunch. It doesn't say you have to take it with food, but in the first couple of weeks that you take this, I would take this with food. Um, it may always have to take it with food, but until your body's used to something, anything, you should do what it says. And this says take with, take with breakfast or lunch. I, I would not start your day with this product. I wouldn't start your day with accelerator boost or edge without something on your stomach. I don't know if that's a banana for you or a scoop of peanut butter, but if you want to have a bad reaction to it, then take it without food. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Um, I just don't think it's a wise idea. But being from fitness background, I don't believe that you should work out on an empty stomach anyway. That's I do have clients that would be sick if they worked if they ate and then worked out. So um, I know that people out there exist like that, but I would just I would suggest that they take this this um, not take the edge if they haven't eaten anything. So. I think that's it. Unless I missed something. You there, Talina? I'm here. Thank you so much. Um, something I totally forgot to talk to you guys about was the new um, incentive program that they have. It's going to be Club 300 and Club 500. Completely forgot. Um, they'll be sending out more details on that soon. Um, it's going to be based off of your PV. Um, I took pictures of the screens and I was just looking for them and I can't recall. It's Do you remember PV? Your PV and then the number um, number of current customers and number of new customers. Correct. I don't have my book with me, but um, it, it'll be like you have to have so many current customers and then add, I think for Club 300, it's three, three customers. And right. then again, same thing for 500. It's a certain amount of current customers plus add 500 or five, 500 plus add five customers. <laughs> Yeah, and then there there will be incentive prizes at the end of those months. So it's going to encourage, um, you know, growing your customer base and then turning around and then growing your team with those customers. So um, keep your eyes peeled for those um, details coming soon as well. But get on the shareables, guys. Take a peek around. Um, start utilizing those. Every single one of those in the back office is compliant. 
um, start util utilizing the hijacking along with the hashtag Team Rising Diamonds. And if you guys have any questions on how to upload any of those, I'll try to help to like a Dropbox or a Google Drive. I'll try to help you as best as I can. But um, or you can use YouTube like I did and figure it out. But um, feel free to send me a message. So that's all for tonight. I'm really excited about the new products. I hope you guys are as well. Um, and convention credits, not convention, um, <laughs> leaders retreat credits started on the first. And so everything we're doing for the last two weeks moving forward, it's going to um, help each of you get there. And I just want to tell you guys, if you're new, Leaders Retreat is not something that only the seasoned ambassadors can earn. The newest of ambassadors can earn Leaders Retreat um, because it's based on growing your team. So if you have zero ambassadors today and you continue to grow over the next month and a half, um, you have the same potential that Celeste Gwynn, top of the company, you have the same opportunity to grow your team. Um, so I want to see... Every single one of you guys in Dallas this year, it's going to be so much fun. Again, they'll roll out the red carpet for us, and I'm looking forward to it. So I hope each of you guys have a, has a good night, and we'll catch up again next Monday. Awesome. Thank you, Tony, right, guys. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye.